Then there's another important point. Uh, for many years now in Council, we have been dealing intensively with enlargement. I'm sure you're all aware of various conflicts. And in April of this year, there was a mandate for negoci- negotiations with Monten- with Macedonia and Albania. Now, unfortunately, we haven't been able to make the hope for progress in recent years uh, in terms of setting the framework, and that would be a prerequisite for the IGC, the Intergovernmental Conference. Uh, Albania, the criteria are met, but with North Macedonia, uh, we did want to get that on track with our presidency, and I'm very grateful uh, today that... Macedonia has, North Macedonia has made it clear that, uh, and we've made it clear that stability is very important in that area. That's a key point in terms of our strategy. And so I think we have a good situation. Now, there can be bilateral conflicts, for example, uh, with North Macedonia and Bulgaria, for example, and, and there are also issues that are of importance in terms of Central and Eastern Europe. But once again, I think we made clear today that in the search for reasonable solutions uh, and wishing to be, we want to be helpful and we want to clear the path as much as possible so that we can start on those uh, intergovernmental conferences. But now we felt it was not the time. Uh, if you have bilateral conflicts that cannot be resolved in the upcoming weeks, we felt not that we, now is not the time to refer that to the European Council level. I think we want to send the right signal both towards the Western Balkans, n- North Macedonia, and Albania. Now they have already done a lot, and they have their claims. They want to be part of this European Community. It's it's a long path, difficult path, and. But it has to get started, really, with actual negotiations. Then there was the issue of transparency, and we were able to discuss with colleagues. We discussed the state of play on negotiations in the multi-annual financial framework, the MFF. We also discussed next-gen EU package, for example, in conjunction with the rule of law dialogue. And so we were informed, but we were not able to reach the hoped-for consensus in Council today. But I did get the feeling that well, we had a compromise with Parliament, and I think we have the basis for a breakthrough so that the European Union can keep their promises that all of the citizens in the European Union will get the help where help is most urgently needed. And I think for those member states who are not yet able to sign up to the compromise for this mechanism have to know that uh, at the end of the day, their citizens will have to – it will cost them, it will pay a price if if we don't succeed in this. And so we called on all of the member states, and uh, this is something which will benefit all of the member states, all of the citizens. And hopefully we will be able to reach consensus on that. So that's a brief overview of a meeting uh, which lasted almost eight hours. Uh, I left a few things out, but those were the main strands. And I'm sure our colleagues from the Commission will have further comments to make. Thank you. Minister, now I pass the floor to the Vice President. Vice President Chepcevich, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, and thank you very much, Michal, not only for very able chairing of this uh, very long but very productive uh, General Affairs Council, but also for 